my bloody valentine. Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Talk. My name is John. And my name is Matt. And today we're here to celebrate everyone's favorite romantic holiday, Valentine's Day, with a little bit of a discussion about one of the best Valentine's Day movies, and that is 1981's My Bloody Valentine. One of the only Valentine's Day movies, really. Really, yeah, there's not many. Yeah, I, I have another one from Scream Factory, uh, Valentine. I haven't seen that yet. Heard of that. I have it. Um, I'm going to watch that probably this weekend sometime. Well, Valentine's Day horror movies, you know, there's always that yeah. little window because there's plenty of rom-coms and everything like that. Right. But as far as horror movies go, but before we dive into our review of this film, if you are a fan of 4K Blu-ray reviews, movie reviews, some tech and game reviews along the way, and if you're into podcasts, we do all that here on the channel. And nothing helps out more than by you liking this video, subscribing to this channel, and subscribing to us on all podcast services. This was directed by George Mihalaka. I hope I'm saying that right. Pipi Kaka. <laughs> <laughs> and this movie tells the tale of... Well, back in 1960, I believe, mm -hmm. this guy got trapped in, well, unfortunately, they were having a Valentine's Day dance in the town, and the two supervisors wanted to get to that dance a little early, and they forgot about the five guys who were still in the mine. They figured they'd get out on their own, but mm -hmm. there, was some, there was a gas leak, caused an explosion, trapped these five guys in there. One of them somehow survives after six weeks, which I'm still got yes. a lot of well, questions. Well, he was eating... Them, right? Yeah. yeah, I figured that's what was going on. Well, they showed that. He was eating eating one of their arms when they found him. Oh, was he? I thought that was his arm. No. Okay, well, I guess... This is, so, to be clear, Matt's seen this movie actually a bunch of times. This was my first time seeing the original. I had only seen the remake in theaters with him, and right. I didn't like that movie that much, so I never went back yeah, to Yeah, the this. remake is not as good. I actually re-bought the remake last year or two years ago, and I rewatched it. I was like, ah, uh, no, 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 the, the original's way better. The original is, I think... It's a good movie, but we'll get into that a little bit, because... You know, once they find him, he ends up killing those supervisors, and now 20... Well, a year later. Yeah, a year later. Cause he, well, because basically he was like, it was the Valentine's Day uh, party or dance or whatever that was... Down at the Union Hall. Right, but that was the reason why they left him in there, so he said they better not have another one, which they did next year, so he killed everybody the, the, the night of Valentine's Day. He killed the... The supervisors. Correct. They haven't had one in 20 years, so they figured, all right, it's been 20 years, let's give it a shot, and they they over-decorated the town. Just My God, right? The whole town, everything, in the laundromat, they're yeah, hanging oh, up yeah, decorations. everywhere. Like, they're super, super into Valentine's Day. Yeah, this, <laughs> never anywhere in my life have I seen a town Maybe, that's on, The only time, like, I, that i relatively close to that is, like, when you're in, in grade school. Yeah, and they They decorate up, the classroom a little bit they for do. Valentine's Day. They, but they also decorate for every holiday. Then that's yeah. also the sad time of the year where everybody has Valentine's Day cards that they're giving out. And yeah. My mom never got me any to hand out, so I just got... Really? Yeah, I was just the taker. I was never a giver. No shit. Yeah, no, my mom was... Oh, I used to hand them out all the time. Oh, no, no, no. My mom was not. Even birthdays, like, I was lucky. Like, you know, kids would you have their moms... You never the cupcakes? No, never. Wow. You know my mom. You think she's baking cupcakes for the class? I was you lucky she it? made cupcakes for me. Wow. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, I was yeah. lucky maybe once she got munchkins. But oh, that... Yeah, I got that all the time. Of course you did, because you're a piece of shit. I got nothing. I was always the kid in school every holiday. I'm a piece of shit because I'm a normal person. Okay, I'm sorry that my mom was busy. You know, she worked nights. <laughs> the cat's meow, right? Go fuck yourself, Matt. All right. <laughs> you can look that up. It's a real business. <laughs> We're not going to dive into that here today. <laughs> but anyway, so in the opening of this movie, we see the guy kill somebody and put the thing through her heart. Now, you've watched both versions of this movie? What do you mean? There's an uncut and a theatrical version. So I did a little research. Right, this movie was, was very censored at yes, the time. The, the theatrical, they just took a lot of the gore out. Yeah. It was only three minutes. There's a three minute difference, I believe. So. I think I said it, so it was nine minutes completely cut, and then they added back in... Sit, um, so yeah, so those three minutes are new to Scream Factory. They added back in 09, six minutes of footage that had been cut. Gotcha. Okay. And then Scream Factory, and that's actually why on the Scream Factory release, the director actually has an intro in front of the unrated cut and said that they 
he believes that they finally fully restored his film for this version. Correct, yeah. Because mm. the two discs in here, disc one is the theatrical, disc two is the uncut. Yes. Which is 93 minutes versus the 90 minute theatrical. And I believe if you actually look, you could tell where they cut because that footage is a little, uh, a little faded at points. I didn't notice it. No, much, I noticed so. the opening one with the heart because I was like, and, I, and you know what? Best part of this movie, the kills. Mm. The kills are incredible because this is a slasher, so don't expect some world-class acting or anything like that. The well, story is interesting. The enough. one when they kill the old man with the axe through the uh, the pickaxe through the throat comes out the eye. That's yeah. very iconic. That, I think that was in uh, the documentary of um, the, what's in Search of Darkness. Yeah, yeah, no, that is iconic. But I actually thought the most brutal kill was honestly the one with the dryer with the old lady. When yeah. they find the, just because I, I guess it, it just looked like it sucked the life out of her. And it kept spinning, and mm -hmm. then the freaking sheriff, the chief, he is looking, her. Yeah. yeah, is looking at her. And I was, th I thought they were gonna pull off total jaws in this because the guy who's the killer is sending warnings to stop the dance, and I was just waiting for them, like when they're like after the second murder, like they're not gonna stop the dance. They're gonna freaking be like, ah, we, the town needs the money. We gotta yeah. have this dance. Oh yeah. But no, they're like, no, okay, we'll shut it down. How many needs those summer dollars? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they had no problem with that. But unfortunately, a couple people decided, no, we're still having a party, mm -hmm. and our killer. It's a derelict hooligans. Yeah, which, by the way, amazing clothes that they're all wearing. Especially the heavy guy with the mustache yeah. and the hat he has on. The uh, handlebar mustache. <laughs> love that guy. Yeah. And unfortunately, he does meet his demise. He and does not make it. No. no, but that was my guy. But, I mean, there's a love story wrapped in here, too, with a mm -hmm. couple of characters. And the guy that, like... He's a dick, too. The one with the bandana around his neck. Yeah, and, that little... Yeah, and he's got some set of balls because he's got a bandana around him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. And, and I just love it. Like, uh, she wants to tell you that she's with me now. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. you're a fuck. I hope she's... to be a tough guy with yeah. a bandana around, <laughs> around his neck. No one takes you seriously. Yeah, well, <laughs> what is that? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, overall, I mean, it's a good movie. I just... I, I didn't have as much fun as you and uh, it's Quentin. one of the originals. Yeah, and like, Quentin Tarantino said that this is the best slasher he's ever seen. And I, I don't know if I would go that far. Yeah, it's a but little. But it's still great. I, it's still up there for it, me. It's a good movie. Like I said, I thought the kills were the best. I just didn't find the story to be the most entertaining. But what I liked actually was the ending. That you know, kind of reminded me of Black Christmas a little bit. But, yes, yes. Yeah, but like the twist ending and the fact that it doesn't turn out to be the sky. Did guy. you expect it? No, we I didn't, didn't expect it at okay. all. No, did you know that going in? That, that 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 it turns out. So spoilers. It turns out to be this kid Axel, Axel who mm. is the son of one of the supervisors who watched his father get murdered that night in 1960. So I watched this every year, and I actually forgot that it was Axel. Really? And I was trying to figure out because I I pretty much narrowed it down to Axel or TJ, which was the the two guys fighting over the girl. Okay. But Axel was missing in a lot of the like. Towards Seems. the end, yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, it's definitely Axel. See, I didn't expect that at all from either. I thought that Axel died just off screen because I they kept saying who it was. So I was like, ah, it makes sense, you mm. know, like they, oh, right, because right, right, they were right, playing right. along with the fact, like, oh, they can't find any records on him and nothing yeah. like that. So I'm like, okay, he's just been floating around, and now that the dance is going on, so I just had no idea a twist was coming. And then when they said it, I was like, oh shit actually a little bit better but then the very end when he's like talking into the camera and making all those like that weird voice and everything i'm like that's creepy we're coming back you bastards <laughs> sarah be my bloody valentine no. <laughs> I was like, so the ending they stuck it it actually was a little bit scary uh, yeah but definitely unique setting it's a fun ride yeah um, this is definitely an every year watch for me about around valentine it's going right? into the rotation because there's not the, you know i'm going to check out valentine sometime this weekend and i'll get back to you on that yeah but, but no this uh, one it's got a lot of the hearts and like you know a heart in the heart that was pretty cool yeah you know it's some it's definitely it's a valentine's 90 day minute run you know yeah. it's in and out and it, it's a fun ride you know a cool story Good Scream Factory Blu-ray. Yeah. I wanted to bring that up because so we both have the Scream Factory. I have the Steel Book, where yeah. John has the standard release. Yep, uh, and, I, and that's still two discs, right? Still two discs. Yep. Oh, they're the same exact discs. Is my question? Actually, no. Yours is different. Oh yeah, they are di a bit different. Yeah. Show the camera that. Yeah. So, and I also have what people do love: the reversible slip art. Yep, reversible slip art. Well, that's because it's a, a Blu-ray box. Yeah, you can't do it. You have yeah. a well, Steel Book. Actually, I don't even know what that looks like. So this, that's the original. This is the theater. original, yeah. yeah. So that's usually what Scream Factory does. They put the original theatrical release poster like on once. Which the one inside. do you like more? Um, 
Because I think I like this one more, actually. Let me see the, the Scream Factory one. Scream Factory is just art. I don't know. I can go either way. Yeah, no, it's good either way, which way you decide to go. And the discs themselves, so it does say on it. It's I almost like that better than the steel. I, I just don't really like steel. I know you anymore. don't. You <laughs> like the stats and also, and no, it's a nice well, one. Well, that's I mean, why I kept this. Oh. I cut the thing out and I slipped it in. The J card, I think it's called. Yeah, maybe. But the steel book, it's still not bad. It's nice. It's, but I kind of like that better now. <laughs> I mean, I'll trade with you. I'm fine if you want this. Maybe. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. But yeah, it's got a new 4K scan on there, which is cool. Oh, you I just reversed it? Yeah, I reversed it. See? So now this is my new one. <laughs> I hate the way you handle everything. Sliding it across there, scratching the shit out of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that. But anyway, so it has a new 4K scan on there, so it's in the original camera negative, from the original camera negative, it says. So, mm -hmm. But it's not presented in 4K due to it being a Blu-ray, so it's... On both the theatrical and uncut are both new 4K scans. Yes, so I actually, I think I could suspect, and probably will happen, that this will get a new 4K scan maybe next Valentine's Day. It'd be pretty silly not to release it around Valentine's Day. Yeah, so, so. maybe next time they'll d dig into the uh, the catalog, and then I'll, I'll definitely upgrade it. But point. the Blu-ray is nice. It it's is a good, it it's is a good very good Blu-ray. A lot of the day scenes with the cloudy weather and everything look right. great. I would actually prefer them, if they were to do a 4K, if we got a new audio track. Yes. this is a 2.0 mono. It was very noticeable. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, very front-heavy. Um, mm -hmm. It's clear, though. The dialogue it's was clear. It's not bad yeah. at all, by any means, but I would like a better audio. Yeah, I, hopefully, if they do do a 4K, we'll get the uh, old Dolby Vision, Dolby now, Atmos treatment. Tell me if, if this is just me. Now, old, older, I guess really just slashers for me, but just older movies, you know, like... Uh, like 70s, 80s movies. Do you notice that you hear footsteps a lot in all these? Oh, I bring this up in the 70s thing all the time about when I, because 70s dialogue, they put the background sounds way too loud. And they also put the dialogue like where it sounds like it's ADR and it's like way too loud also. But like when they're walking across hard floors or steps or whatever, you hear you hear like yeah. the feet a lot. It's just because of the mics they had at the time. Right. Because it's just like the mics were just picking up too much and they yeah. weren't mixing it. So they're yeah. like, eh, it's fine. And that's yeah. the thing with well, a monotrack. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just of the time. It's just, I, it's just something I always notice. I'm like, oh yeah, because you hear it a lot in this movie. Oh yeah. You know what else you hear a lot? The leather off of the freaking one guy's jacket. Every time he moves, you hear it. And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. But that's again with a mono track, you know, it's only two channels, so you're not going to spread that around. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not coming from your ears, so it's just going to overwhelm the audio. But overall, it's got a bunch of extras. It's pretty. It's a good package. The visuals, I was surprised. I was expecting it to look pretty shitty. Since, really? And yeah, I didn't actually know it was a new. You just told me to grab it, so I didn't even know it was a new 4K scan. But for my first time watch through of My Bloody Valentine, I really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it's, it's, fun movie. it's not the greatest movie ever. I think Tarantino overhyped it a little bit. But for a slasher, it's a fun one. And like Matt said, not many around Valentine's Day. So where can you go wrong? Mm -hmm. Throw in the rotation every Valentine's Day. Nothing more romantic than watching a minor go around killing people, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Quick 90 minutes in and out. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a fun ride. It's a classic and you know you can't really go wrong yep and if you're into reviews just like this one nothing helps out this channel more than by you subscribing to it liking the video finding us on all podcast services subscribing there and just hanging out with us but you know what helps out really you going out and telling all your friends about us happy valentine's day guys happy b-day